Welcome to a video entitled Demo Examples. And the only purpose for this video is to make sure that you understand about the demo and the code examples that come with this course. Because I find myself every time in a programming course forgetting to say there's code examples out here and where to find them and so forth. So let's take care of that business right here. If you see me coding something on the screen out there in Visual Studio, Unless it's just something very, very simple, just one or two lines of code, there will be a demo, code example, solution, project file, whatever you want to call it, out there in the working files folder. So just go look for the chapter of the section of the course you're working in, and you'll see the project file. Now, it'll be named the same thing you see on the screen. And the reason I'm telling you this is because I get all hyped up on doing the demos and I'm concentrating on the code and setting it up and making it as easy and simple as possible for you. And inevitably, on about half of these, I will forget to say this project is located in the working files folder. So let's just go ahead and understand here. They're out there. Go take a look for them. I will put a separate folder for each project. So just go look for the project name in that folder. Copy that entire project folder to your computer and then just locate the .sln, the solution file. Double click that, it should open in your Visual Studio community. You can see the demo code, you can see it as I ran it, and the code will be very, very similar. Now, sometimes I'll tweak these. I have this little, I don't know what you'd call it, lightning strike of something to make it easier for you to understand, or one other little gizmo to add in there to demo something. And every once in a while, you may not see that exact thing in there, but you will have 99% of the code examples included out there in your working files folder. So just go look for those. That will help you tremendously. And on some of these, when we get down to things like garbage collection and delegates and so forth, you need to just see the code sometimes and step through it and play with it more so than you need to code it up right away. Always helps to code it up, but sometimes it just helps to get your head around it and understand what's going on first. So in those, you'll definitely want to grab those code examples. But the bottom line is I want you to get some hands on. I've already mentioned that. Just be aware there are demo examples out there in your working files folder. Check them anytime you see me writing code and you want to get your hands on that code and copy and paste or just open it up and run it without having to hack it all out yourself. So that's the bottom line on demo examples in this course.